The amount of work done on an object is related to its gravitational potential energy. So um, if we move an object into space or up higher, we increase its gravitational potential energy. If we let that object fall, it decreases its gravitational potential energy and it increases its kinetic energy because the object's moving at a greater speed. Remember, kinetic energy is one half mv squared. So we can say that if an object is an infinite distance away, its gravitational potential energy is very close to zero. Um, it will never be exactly zero, but it will be so close to zero that it's counted as zero. The definition of gravitational potential energy is moving an object from an infinite distance away into a position where it's in that gravitational field. So that co that's work being done to move that object. It will then have a small amount of gravitational potential energy. So we can define zero gravitational potential energy as anywhere, but so imagine it's at the surface of the Earth. We say if you move an object away from the surface of the Earth, you increase its gravitational potential energy, and it's zero at an infinite distance. So you're you're increasing it. So it's obviously negative because as it increases, it gets closer and closer to zero. Remember this graph. This is an infinite distance, and this is zero potential energy here. This is negative potential energy. As that object is put on the surface of the surface of the Earth, we can say that that is zero potential energy, whereas it's not really. You're still a distance. And if you look at the formula, you're still a certain distance from the center of the Earth, of the Earth's center of mass. So an object at the surface still has the potential to to move towards the center of the earth. If it went down a hole or if the, the sand was that it was sitting on became wet, the object would sink into the earth and move towards the center of the earth. We often say that this is zero at the surface. And if we move an object above the surface, it's gaining potential energy. But at the surface itself, it still has potential energy because it's not at that zero point.